everyone welcome back to my channel hope you are doing really well it has been a long time since i have not uploaded any video and it is all due to my wedding my wedding actually it occurred on 15th december 2018 and it was quite sudden and that's why we have to make lots of plannings and that's why after wedding also i have to go to several places to visit my relatives with my hobby that's why i could not manage to upload a single video but whenever i observe my channel i find lots of lovely comment from you all and i'm so happy thank you so much for supporting me uh, and uh, thank you so much for your lovely comments in today's video, today's video, I will be uh, telling you about a very popular play which was written by Christopher Marlowe and it is Dr. Foster's. In initially as well, I think uh, before, before few months also, I published a video in which I explained about Dr. Foster's but it was only the introductory part. But in today's video, I will be explaining the overall summary of Dr. Foster's so that it will be easy for you to understand the overall play whenever you study it. Yeah, let me begin um, with the introduction of the writer, Christopher Marlowe. Christopher Marlowe is one of the famous writer and he was born in February 1564, just two months before William Shakespeare. And he has written a lot of plays uh, that are so popular and beside these plays like Jew of Malta, Chamberlain, EDC. And in this play also he imparts a certain masses and uh, through this play he wants to show about how people are corrupted by overambition and hunger for power and knowledge. And... Uh, before starting the summary of the plan, I think it will be very helpful for you if I explain in short about the major characters which are presented in this play. Let me begin with the characters. Uh, the major characters, the initial we can tell Dr. Foster's. He is a German scholar and he is a highly educated fellow. But he has to suffer due to his hunger for power, uh, power and hunger for knowledge, power and worldly aspects. And uh, he sells his soul to devil for 24 years of pleasure. Next is Mephistopheles. Mephistopheles is the servant of the ruler of hell, Lucifer. Lucifer is the ruler of hell. And there is a uh, next character, uh, good angel and bad angel or evil angel. Good angel is the one who wants Dr. Foster's not to sign the contract with the devil and to be near to God. In the second hand, there is evil angel who always encourages Dr. Foster's to sign the contract and to be near to devil for pleasure. And uh, there are other characters like the there are two friends of Dr. Foster's. Uh, they are Vards and Cornelius and other they servant of Dr. Foster's and uh, there are other several minor characters. Now let me start with the summary. Initially what happens in the play is that Dr. Foster's, uh, the highly educated fellow, he wants uh, to be famous all over the world in a short period of time. And for that he wants to learn magic. His friends, Vars and Cornelius, they suggest him to learn black art or black magic. And he started uh, learning black magic and he calls the devil Mephistopheles. When he calls the devil Mephistopheles, Mephistopheles initially tells him about the horror of the hell. But though he tells him about the horror of the hell, uh, Dr. Foster's, he was not afraid. He never think what will happen in future. He just want to be powerful and he just want to get his name famous all over the world. That's why he wants Mephistopheles to make a contract that he will sell his soul for 24 years of pleasure. And finally, he signs the contract. But when he was signing the contract, his blood was thickening. And uh, th this was suggesting that God was warning him not to sign the contract and be near to devil. And good angel and bad angel also appeared there when he was learning black magic and he was doing all these things. Good angel was telling not to go to this path, not to do black magic, black art, not to sign that contract like that. And similarly, bad angel was encouraging him to be near to David like that. And But uh, 
Dr. Foster's he signed and at last after signing the contract he was armed with new powers and Mephistopheles the devil was his servant for just 24 years and like this days passed and he uh, he makes various misconducts by his power he tricks people he went to pope he uh, he creates a lot of mistakes and he tricks people several people and he also became famous by his power or magic power but uh, when the day was near and the day was approaching in which he was uh, about to die and his soul was about to taken by the devil he was a bit afraid and uh, I, I think the, in the midnight time devil appeared and he snatched or uh, the soul of dr foster and the next day he was found dead by his friend and the funeral procession was carried on in this way the play ends and by this play we can uh, learn a lesson that how power corrupts people dr foster he has everything but he has over ambition and this due to this tragic flaw he has to suffer his soul was taken just for 24 years of pleasure he never thought about what will happen in future but he only wants power and due to his over ambition he suffers a lot and at that time in society as well there was conflict between religion and magic whether religion provide happiness to many people or magic provide happiness there were this sort of conflict and uh, this all shows uh, the negative aspects and this gives a lesson that people should never run after overpower because power always corrupts and it makes people suffer this is all about the plain search uh, i hope you like the video and if you find this video helpful a bit as well please don't forget to subscribe and support me see you in the next video have a good day bye bye